Welcome to Wika. Today we're going to wire a residential receptacle outlet trim stage. All right, now when we come to this receptacle here, you'll see that uh, the receptacle is just hanging from there. Quite often, when we come in to trim, we don't just trim one receptacle, we trim an entire building. So someone will lay out, they'll pull all the wires out, and they'll lay out all the different types of devices. Make sure that's the right device for the right space. This is a simple residential receptacle. So we're going to wire this up accordingly. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull these wires all the way out. And they may be a little long, so we're going to trim them a little bit, just like that. And then, of course, this is a ground wire that always has to be around the ground terminal. So we're going to take this little hole in the strippers, and we're going to do this, just like that. And then we're going to get the ground terminal, just like that. And we're going to tighten it right on, just like that. We'll take the drill. Now, you have to use a drill in the trade for speed but you got to be careful. First thing you do is you put it on number one setting and you make sure that it's not so much that, see, I can hold that and it won't strip everything out. You don't want to have it on screw setting and then rip the screw out. That's new people do that quite often. So you got to be careful at first when you tighten it. So you tighten it up, get it all the way down. There, that's tight. No more. Don't strip the screw out. You're done. Then the next thing you want to do is you're going to attach these wires in the back. And what you do in residential is you put push-in connectors instead of going around the terminals. So you can just push them in the back of this device. And what it will show, usually on these, it will show a little guide. Here's the guide on this one. It's kind of hard to see. It goes from here to here. It tells you how far you strip each conductor so you don't overstrip and you have wires showing. So I'm going to strip these accordingly. Take each one of these. Here we go, strip them right out. You got to make sure they're long enough to where it catches and they don't come out, uh, but not too long to where you see a bunch of wires showing. So now which wire goes where? Now this is the ground wire. On the same side of the ground is where you put the grounded or neutral conductor. Most likely in residential, it'll be the grounded conductor because multi-wire circuits aren't too common because most things are arc fault. So again, on the same side, these are the silver terminals. What you see is the push in, you push it right in. And you see it's push in, you don't see any wire, you know it's the right length. And then on this side, same side, push in. Now you turn it over, and this is the brass. See the brass side over here. The brass side are where the hot conductors go. So what you do is you take this and you push it in, and then you take this wire and you push it in. I always double check. These are all tight, they're not coming out. You've done a good job. You don't see any wire. Then what you want to do is you take this, fold it back. Make sure this ground wire, what can happen is a ground wire can push forward and get touch terminals. If the ground wire touches the grounded terminals, it'll trip off the arc fault. So you push that ground way back so it's away from everything else before you screw it in. And then you go right in here and carefully screw it in. You've got to be careful because this is a a plastic box behind here and a plastic box can get stripped very easily. You want to tighten it up and what will happen is these boxes will flex forward a little bit so you got to be careful. It will tighten and loosen up again because as you put pressure on it, it will start to come forward and eventually you'll hit an equilibrium and it's good. Now you feel that. It's not going anywhere. It's tight. You can plug something in and it should be just about the right tightness for this particular installation. And this is a typical example of a residential receptacle outlet trim stage.